One of the most important things in broiler production is to make sure that the feed conversion efficiency is good. The feed conversion efficiency is the ability of broilers to convert feeds into muscle or body tissues, therefore boosting the final weight. In this video, I want to share with you a feeding guide on how to boost the feed conversion efficiency of your broilers. I'll also tell you things that you should avoid that lower the feed conversion efficiency of the broilers. And most importantly, I will give you five natural supplements that boosts the feed conversion efficiency so that you can be able to get optimum or high final body weight from your broiler chicken uh, before we get into this video kindly make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification if you have not done so so that you can be able to be notified every time that we post a video on our youtube channel also if you get value from this video make sure that you hit that like button first things first let me discuss on the major and most common causes of poor feed conversion efficiency in broilers and number one is the stress the most common kind of stress that faces the broilers is the heat stress they are easily exposed to heat stress. Heat stress leads to inflammation which causes cell death and low feed intake and all this leads to poor feed conversion efficiency. The second cause of poor feed conversion efficiency in dryers is diseases. Diseases alter the normal functioning of the body of the broiler's body leading to poor feed conversion efficiency diseases should be prevented and promptly treated at all costs make sure that you give the right vaccination at the right time isolate the sick birds and make sure that you treat them properly the third thing is quality of feeds and i will use, I will use an experience here whereby there was a farmer who visited our farm where I was carrying out a project on a certain feed and he was shocked to find that my four weeks old broiler chicken had twice the weight that his seven week broilers had. After examining the feeds that he was using, we found out that the energy in these feeds was way below the required one and that is why his broilers, despite eating a lot of feeds, they were not able to convert these feeds into muscle or into weight this means that make sure that you buy your feeds from a reputable miller or reputable feed companies another thing that decreases the feed conversion efficiency is poor spacing each broiler bird should have a one square feed space this is because when you keep broilers in a large area you find that the broilers will roam a lot throughout the room and this leads to wastage of energy another thing ab about uh, the feed and the water each bird should not go for more than one meter without finding the feeds and the water now how can you modify how you feed your broilers so as to boost or improve the ability of these broilers to convert feeds into muscles and body tissues and ultimately boost the final weight an important thing to note is that during week one to week three broilers have the best ability to convert feeds into muscles what does this mean that we should do to utilize this potential number one from week one to week three make sure that you feed the broilers ad libitum ad libitum means that the broilers should be provided with feeds all the time during the day and during the night make sure that you don't restrict the light uh, provide clean water ad libitum also because water is very important in a broiler growth and weight gain also at this stage from week one to week three make sure that you avoid diseases at all costs because if a disease hits at this stage it is it becomes very difficult for these broilers to recover and have the required or targeted final weight another thing to note is that from week three onwards the feed conversion 
efficiency starts to decrease and also the broilers become prone to heat stress. Therefore, here is what to do. After week 3 onwards, give the birds a break from feeding. Make sure that you remove the feed at around 12 noon when the sun becomes hotter and resume feeding at around 3.30 p.m. Now, after reintroducing the feed at 3.30 p.m., let the broilers have the feed throughout the night. This type of feeding helps to reduce the heat stress which will help prevent many other complications that can follow thereafter. Note that during this feed withdrawal period, the water should not be removed. Make sure that the broilers have clean, cool water. Another thing to note is that never starve broilers for more than four hours. Otherwise, they will start undergoing ketosis in their bodies where the body literally feeds on itself and this causes decrease in weight. Now, welcome into the world of organic supplements. And here I want to give you the organic supplements that you can use to boost the feed conversion efficiency of the broiler so that you can be able to achieve more final weight. I will also give you the amounts in which you are supposed to add into the broiler feeds. And, and the first organic supplement is the garlic powder. It will, has been found that adding 0.3% of the garlic powder in the broiler feeds help to boost the feed conversion ratio. 0.3% is the same as 3 grams of the garlic powder into each kg of the broiler feed. The second organic supplement is the turmeric powder and you are going to add it into the broiler feeds at a ratio of 2 grams into each kg of the broiler feeds. The third organic supplement is the black pepper which is to be added at 10 grams per kg of the broiler feeds. The fourth important organic supplement is the ginger powder which is to be added at 20 grams per kg of the broira feed. Ginger contains a very important compound called zingibane which is very effective at stimulating the enzymes that help in digestion and absorption of feed therefore improving the feed conversion efficiency. Now, the fifth organic supplement is the apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar is usually added in the water and it helps in modifying the pH of the gut of the chicken and also helps to activate the enzymes used for digestion and absorption of nutrients and this helps to improve the feed conversion efficiency. The dosage that you're going to use during the administration of this apple cider vinegar into the chicken's drinking water is one teaspoonful of the apple cider vinegar into three liters of the chicken's drinking water. As you use this feeding guide and also prepare these organic supplements so that you can give to your broilers to boost their feed conversion efficiency, I recommend also that you watch the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the best organic stress removers for faster growth in your chicken.